here we have it, the lock and key model of Enzyme Action. And we can see that I have my typical enzyme diagram. Uh, the space in the middle here is obviously the active site. And we have the complementary substrate. These are an exact match, like a lock and a key. So they come together to form the enzyme substrate complex. The enzyme action takes place, which then, in this case, breaks down the substrate into two products. So let's take a look at the induced fit model of enzyme action. And again, here we can see that typical depiction of the enzyme and the space, the active site. We have its complementary substrate. And as we can see, they do match, well, like a lock and a key. However, when they come together to form the enzyme substrate complex, notice how the active site induces its fit around the substrate i.e. the enzyme molds itself it gives the substrate a hug and holds it into position now the enzyme acts upon the substrate in the exact same way and notice now how the enzyme's active site returns to its normal state ready to take on another substrate as the products are released so the induced fit model of enzyme action here the same lock and key imagery was shown uh, but with a slight adjustment, the enzyme's active site must mould itself to the substrate, hugging it tightly in position, a manoeuvre only the correct substrate can induce. Yeah.